The crane, the wolf, the bear and the boar No longer dwell upon these shores You say the goddess and god have gone But I tell you they live on For in the cities and hills And in circles of stone The voices of the old ways The spirit of Albion is calling you home Hey guys, and welcome back to another edition of the British Pantheon. Today we are doing Goddess Kavatina. She is the queen of the river goddesses. Um, she is not um, a very known goddess. Uh, there's not much information on her. It doesn't mean that she's not very known. This can mean that she's very old, which would make sense, or that she's, very, or she's kind of a young goddess, or that she's not worshipped as much anymore. Anyhow, here's her titles, alternative names, and spellings, and symbols. Enjoy. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the music. Um, goddess Cavatina is mainly a goddess of water here, but water being spirituality um, in the water, water is very flowing. It's life-given. It can be really soft to the touch, but then hard as stone. Um, and a lot of it that she is goddess of is more towards as we will talk here more towards um she would be more of a feminine goddess more for females and uh, than males um so let's get started on what she is goddess of she is goddess of renewal abundance new beginnings Life cycles, inspiration, springs, childbirth, wishes, prosperity, healing. Mortal wells and her sacred animals is dogs, boards, water buffalo. Her sacred color is blue. Her element is water. Her Sabbath is in bulk. Her associated planet is the moon. Her representation is the cauldron, cup, water. Coins, 
bloaches, and wells. Now let's talk about the stuff we went over, what you can use her for. We said that she is goddess of renewal, um, new beginnings, life cycles, spring is actually the beginning of new life, um, childbirth of course, um, water being that I talked about, wells, and healing. All those things are basically pointing to her being a mother goddess, because I, I'm not true, no pagan's 100% on everything, you know, no pagan knows it all, but water is mainly the cycle of life, uh, humans, a lot of creatures on this planet are made of mostly water, especially humans, and the childbirth thing really gives it away, but life cycles would not only be nature based, but they could also be uh, menstrual cycle based. I know a lot of people don't want to talk about that stuff, but for women, if you're doing your cycles, you could probably talk to whore. Now, you're probably asking how can that be related to life cycles? Uh, look up your biology. <laughs> um, and inspiration, she gives inspiration to people. She is a very beautiful goddess. You see her everywhere if you think about it. There's water everywhere, and she is a representation of water. Um, her dogs being, um, her sacred animals, sorry, one being a dog. A dog is considered a guardian, uh, guardian type of animal. A board is free flowing in the sky. Boards represent peace a lot of the time. And also death if you're talking about crows. Um, so there again, life cycles. Boards can represent death and life. And the water buffalo represent the water. Um, I don't know what part of the buffalo that comes from because I don't really know that stuff. But the buffalo is much. Her sacred cuddle, of course, being blue. Her almond, of course, being water. And her Sabbath in bulk is really, it has a lot of muddle goddesses all worshipped during in bulk season. In bulk is usually the spring type of time. Um, her associated planet being a moon would again point more to the whole of being a muddle goddess. Depending, uh, if she's a muddle goddess, it would be a full moon. Um, her representations, we talked about the cauldron, which holds water, again, cup. And again, water pops up, so we know water is very heavily based for her. Coins, brooches, wells. Um, to set up an auto for her, a simple thing would be a cauldron. Again, the auto is just a piece if you're a closet pagan. An auto is just, you don't have to have the stuff to be pagan. You know, they are tools. I've talked about this before. The power is within you. But if you want to set up an, an auto tool tool, all you need is a little cauldron or even a little cup and you put some, you know, to make it look like a cauldron. Or even it says you can use a cup. Put a cup of water out there, put a cup of coins by it. And there you go. And your parents, or if you're in the closet, you're a young pagan, right there is an easy way to wash a pole. Just a cup of water and a cup of coins beside it. No one would know. Now, let's go on her herbs and incense. Now, she does have a lot. And a lot of these herbs and incense and gems are representations, again, of the mother. But there are also a couple ones, a couple I see here, that could be the funnel. So, at least one. So, that's interesting. Um, Carmeline. Jasmine. This one. Sandalwood. Vanilla, Octra Moine, Sodiolite, Lapis, Limestone, Moonstone, Pores, Rose Quartz, and Shelves. As we've seen there, a lot of those um, are easy to come by. Um, you can get a lot of these, like your vanilla, 
Um, you can get that at a store, any grocery store. Um, common line is pretty easy to come by, so it's jasmine and sandalwood. Sandalwood, you can born again if you're a closet pagan to say, hey, you like the smell of incense. Sandalwood is very nice and smelly, so it's vanilla. You can get vanilla incense. Aquiline is in soda light, or pretty common stones, or pretty cheap. Go to 13moons.com. They are great prices, good sizes. Um, lapis, again, is a very feminine stone. Uh, so is moonstone and limestone. Limestone's kind of easy. I mean, at least in Pennsylvania, there's a lot of limestone around. Uh, pores would be a little expensive. Moonstone, that's decent prices. Rose quartz, you can get a lot of shells if you live near the beach. Easy access. Now, anyhow, her, let's go to her parents. And, now, her mother was goddess, this name, goddess of winter. Her father was a human. As we know, we've talked about her mother in all the videos. Um, her mother is, um, was more attracted to humans than the divine. Now, what's really interested in stories, her lover, or husband, basically in this point would be her lover, was Morlin, the wizard. And she never had any children that were named. So her children were never named. She had children, but they weren't named. Now, Morlin's interesting because we all know who Morlin is. Um, so, anyhow, this has been it for her. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. The next goddess we are doing is goddess, I can't pronounce her name right now, but she's basically queen of the dead. Um, so, see you next time. Goddess bless.